Let's read the Ten Commandments. The Ten Commandments. Um, Exodus chapter 20. Starts down here. This is the New King James Version. So we're going to read a little bit the Bible. Uh, let's see if we get something um, out of this book. So let's let's start reading. And it goes like, um, it reads like this. And God spoke all these words saying, I am the Lord your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. And there is some, some Bibles, some more Bible reference, Bible scriptures there. You see at the side, this more, this is Hosea 13.4, Exodus 13.3. You have Deuteronomy 5.22. There's um, more insight, more, more um, Bible verses to read. So, so right here, it looks like God is talking to someone. I am the Lord your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. I think he's talking to Moses. Because uh, I think he's the one that got the Ten Commandments. So it says over here, the Ten Commandments. Basically, the rules, how to live, uh, something like that. The beginning of... Um, the rules how to live and and um, the laws and everything else. Um, this is some of the beginning. I mean, I think this is the beginning of how to live and and what to do and what not to do. So we're gonna start off um, on verse three. You should not. You should have no other gods before me. And there's another reference, um, Jeremiah. Reference scriptures, um, Jeremiah 25, 6, 35, 15. You should not make yourself a carved image, anything likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. Um, wow, this drew my attention. Water. Under the water. Um, back in Samson days, there was a god fish. Um, supposedly, there was a god fish. Dagon or something, right? Even mentioning them, I don't, I don't think, I don't think according to scripture, I don't think the Lord likes that. Um, mentioning other gods, like, like how I'm doing it right now. He um, I'm just reading and I'm trying to explain things. Um, water, you see water. So back in those days, supposedly it was Dagon, the fish god or whatever. Um, but anyways, um, forget that. Um, you should not make for yourself a carved image. Okay. Under, okay, where are we at? Under the earth. Okay, I believe that's the first, second commandment. Um, okay, you should not bow down to them nor serve them, for I, the Lord your God, am a jealous God. Jealous God. He's a jealous God for a reason. Visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon children to the third and fourth generation, so those who hate me. And there's another reference scripture right there, see? Numbers 14, 18, 33. Let's go to verse 6. But showing mercy to the thousands, to those who love me and keep my commandments, you should not make, you should not take the name of the Lord your God in vain. For the Lord will not hold him guiltless who takes his name in vain. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days you should labor and do all your work. Right here, a lot of people have trouble with this. Six days. Um, people can work six days. You see? If you're working six days, you're doing great, my friend. It says, six days you should labor and do all your work. That's a big plus for you. Because you, you're working. You're providing. You're taking care of business. So you're obeying, you're obeying 
the, some of the commandments. You're obeying the commandments by doing this. And you have another Bible scripture there, Luke 13, 14. Um, you look at what it says. But I'm, I was thinking six days, which six days? Um, just six days, right? That's, I, I think this applies to men. Six days, you know, six days. Maybe I could, uh, maybe I could get a job from Thursday through I don't know where. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, right? And then to, um, Wednesday will be my day off, uh, uh, or, or, or whatever, right? Um, Wednesday, uh, Wednesday, right? Be my day off. So that one could turn into a Sabbath for me, a Wednesday. It doesn't matter what day. Because it, it, it's, it's, it doesn't tell you exactly what day right here. Um, I, I, that's what I'm thinking. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the of the Lord, your God. You see, on your rest day, you got to you gotta uh, think about God, you see. Think about God. And in it, you should do no work. You, nor your son, nor your daughter, nor your male servant, nor your female servant, nor your cattle, nor your stranger who is within your gates. For in six days the Lord made the heavens and the earth. But which six days, right? Um, it was just six days that we that we know. Um, um, uh, made the heavens uh, and the earth, the sea. And all that is in them, and rested the seventh day. Therefore, the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. Honor your father and your mother, that your days may be long upon the land which the Lord your God is giving you. Another commandment you should not murder. Just imagine if we just apply that and not murder. But many people have their mind and their thinking not right. Okay, 14. You should not commit adultery. Wow, that's a big one right there. You should not steal. You should not steal. 16. You should not bear false witness against your neighbor. Wow. Wow. You should not cover your neighbor's house. You should not cover your neighbor's wife. I, I looked up the word covet. I had an idea what it means, but I just wanted to write down the definition right next to it. You see? Desire. Yearn. See? So I should not desire my neighbor's wife. Okay. Um, nor his male servant, nor his female servant nor his ox, nor his donkey, his possessions, and in other words, nor anything that is your neighbor's. You see? Now, all the people witness the thundering, the lightning flashes, the sound of the trumpet, and the mountain smoking. And when the people saw it, they tremble. It stood far, far off. And there's some more um, in the New Testament. There's some scriptures there. You see Hebrews right there. Uh, Hebrews 12, 18, 19, Revelation 1, 10. I don't know what it says right there. I haven't, I haven't got there yet. Um, but 19, verse 19, it reads, Then they said to Moses, this, this is talking about the Israelites. The Israelites said to Moses, you speak with us, and we will hear, but let not God speak with us, lest we die. So they were scared, because, uh oh how the situation was, the atmosphere and everything. Um, so, so, okay, 20, and Moses said to the people, Do not fear, for God has come to test you. Test you? How's that? You see? Let's see. And that his fear may be before you, so that you may not sin. Wow, his presence, a little bit of his presence can put fear on people. Wow, 
so you could get it together. So the people stood afar off, but Moses drew near the thick darkness where God was. Then the Lord said to Moses, Thus you shall say to the children of Israel, You have seen that I have talked with you from heaven. You should not make anything be with me, gods of silver or gods of gold. You should not make for yourselves an altar of, of earth you should make for me. And you shall sacrifice on it your burnt offerings and your peace offerings, your sheep and your oxen in every place where I record my my name. I will come to you and I will bless you. And if you make me an altar of stone, you should not build it off you stone for it you use your tool on it you have profaned it so you contaminate it in other words if you start using a tool or something um i think that's what i understood um nor shall you go up by steps to my altar that you, your nakedness may not be exposed on it but you're going to wonder what about the temple in in Jerusalem Solomon's temple you see this is a story right here the beginning of it this is during this time right here this the ten, the, the ten commandment it was during that those days as many years went by and then you see uh, um the, it took place another situation um this is a Ten Commandments. There's a lot more. You see, if you keep on reading all this right here, like more, there's like a lot of laws and everything. But I think the Ten Commandments are the ones that that stand out. I don't know. Um. All right then. Bye.